Good morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch. Uh, this is a second video in a four-part series about sustainable beekeeping. Uh, there's four quadrants to uh, sustainable beekeeping, we believe. The first one is airflow management, and uh, then protein management, and on the and this third one is on-the-spot queen rearing. Fourth one would be essential oil management. I think those are the four immutable truths about beekeeping. You can't get around them, but this one we're talking about protein. Now here we have an empty hive that we've set up for you know to show you what we're talking about. And then we have a bag of Bee Pro, and we have our little jar, our little jar of pollen that has a screened lid on top. Now I know you can make patties, they give you instructions. Uh, how to make wet patties and whatever. I kind of steer clear of those. I don't prefer to, to make the wet patties mainly for small hive beetle larvae. They like to lay inside the patty and you have a pile of maggots and it's really nasty gross. Don't, I don't want to do that. I'll just use dry powder. Now here's the deal. Here's here's my thinking and it's, it's bared itself out. The bees get pollen. I know they get protein and nutrients and their surrounding area and yippee all good for that. Uh, but when we supplement them, when we provide an additional protein source, they they react differently inside. And what we found last summer, if you go back in some of our videos and look for a video uh, July 19th, and we started, now, now see we didn't know this at the time, we were just feeding them for the heck of it. We would take this little pint can jar and go to the porches and dabble, 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 dabble. And I, I mean not much. I bet it's probably not even a tablespoon. Just dabble, dabble, dabble. I guess we did that probably a couple of times a week. Not not, not a lot. Just a couple of times a week. And it was enough that it, it covered the porch. And the bees reacted to that. They were like, oh man, food from heaven. Oh boy. And they got excited. Now we did that, I don't know, three weeks so what, six times, say two times a week, something like that maybe. And what we weren't ready to see was big time swarming in mid-August. And if you look at videos about August 19th of last summer, we saw lots of big swarms. Not little swarms, big swarms. Now we never see big giant swarms in August. Now I know we got a little bit of rain and, and I, I understand that. but but when you think about bees and how instinctive they are and they operate by cues light cues and food source cues when you do this when you do this not only yes you're aiding them in nutrition and, and all those things but when you do this and you sprinkle a little bit on the porch it's real easy to do I mean you're not even opening up you're just sprinkling on the porch they take that in <clears throat> and if you do that a couple of times over a couple of weeks, I bet, I just bet, after, after oh, 12 days, maybe even 14, you could go in there and find some queen cells. Hmm. So that got me to thinking, you know, if I focused on providing some protein supplement, not only am I helping them in nutrition, Hmm, I could time this. I could time this where I gave some powder maybe two, three times, not more than that, but two times a week. I don't know, pick a day, Tuesday and Friday, I don't know. And if I marked the calendar down and went back in there, oh, just before the 14th day, I bet I'd see some cells halfway done. It takes, oh, what? 17 days for a queen. Hmm. <laughs> so this is kind of exciting to me because I like to manipulate the bees. I know they need the protein. They respond better to it. It's, it's a goldfish principle. If you put a goldfish in a little bowl, he'll only grow to the size of the bowl. Put him in a bigger fish tank, feed him, grow to the size of the tank, a bigger pond than a lake. And, and that's the way the bees operate. The more resources they have, the bolder they are, the bigger they are, the fatter they are, and, and you'll see more swarming. So now this is a little bit advanced, I understand that, but who better to make a queen than the bees themselves? Hmm. <laughs> see, I want to be sustainable. I don't want to run out of bees. I don't want to have to buy bees. 
So if I have a good gene pool, yes, I can go in and split them and all that wonderful thing. But you know what? I saw lots of swarms last year. We got we caught 27 of 28 swarms on our property last year, and that's the most ever. And I even watched three or four swarms swirl away. So we provide Mother Nature with a lot of bees. I promise you we do. But from July 19th to August 19th, um, we powdered, and we didn't even powder that whole time, and we were just aiding. We didn't have the intention of making them swarm. We just slowed down enough to go, what in the world are we seeing? And there was giant, there was swarms everywhere. It was crazy nuts. And I got to thinking, you know, we started powdering those bees about July 19. So go back in our video file on YouTube, and you can look at uh, the bee videos where we powdered July 19 up into mid-August. This is wonderful stuff. I just, I just think, I just think you ought to really focus on giving them additional protein. And I use this little jar. Uh, we have a feeding station where we have a five-gallon bucket laying on its side, and we'll just take this jar and go shake some in the just a free for all. When the weather's nice, it's 23 degrees out right now, so they're <laughs> going to be out flying now. But when it warms up Sunday at 60, they will. And if you wonder, well, what is in this stuff? You know, turn this big bag around, and there's the ingredients: crude protein, 48.5%. That's what most of this is, is just high protein. The best on the market, I think, is uh, Mega B Tucson Diet. I think that's just the Cadillac brand. But when we when we buy our root builder, we buy a big 50-pound uh, bag from, from Daydant. There's a free plug for Daydant. So we'll buy B Pro, and uh, we use it too, boy. I mean, we'll go through that. That, that, might, that might right there... That ought to get me through into next fall, maybe. I expect so. But the biggest tip I can give you is, yes, the bees need the nutrients. That's true. But I'm saying to you, when you do this on purpose, right there on the porch, dunk, 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 you just get it all over them. You don't even worry about it. They'll clean off. I don't know. I might, I might make two passes, something like that. And uh, just a couple of times a week, and you mark your calendar down, and you come back in about 14 days, they may have already swarmed or they may be about to swarm, but I'm betting, I'm just betting that you'll see some queen cells down there because the bees respond to triggers. And when you give them additional food supplement like that on purpose, uh, they can tend to want to swarm. And I think despite any rains we had late last summer, I don't know that we would have seen such big swarming if we hadn't been powdering the front porch. The bees need the nutrients, but uh, my thinking is I can manipulate this. I can powder the front porches on purpose to incent those girls to pull down some queen cells and then time my entry where I can go in and go, now let's look at what queen cells you've offered up here. So, you know, just think it through, you know, try hive and... Try a colony. Protein management's not hard. I don't want the wet protein patties. The beetles like to lay in them. And I don't want the larva. I've had that happen one time and I won't do it again. It was nasty bad. It was terrible. So dry powder is fine. It doesn't take much to make a difference. If you powder that porch and you do it for a couple of times, three times a week for, I don't know, two weeks, I, I just bet the house that you're going to have some queen cells throw down in there. And the girls go, well, we're in Fat City. We can book it out of here. That's fine. You're going to get some new queen cells, and you can split those girls apart, have a new group, have some new queens. Who better to make queens than their own bees, and they make their own cells. They'll do, do it the way they want to. That's awesome. And you can split the frames out, cut out the queen cells, move them around, whatever you want to do. But I think that little jar right there is a big deal. That's a big deal. If you think you want to open up and powder the top of the frames, that's fine. We got a lot. We actually, we drive around in our little orange Husqvarna mower, and we just shake the porches a couple of times and keep on a moving. <laughs> it's real simple. It doesn't got to be complicated. But I just want to remind you, go to the YouTube channel, check out the videos July 19th from last summer, and look at some August 19th in that time frame. And I think that's what promoted and prompted all of our big swarming last summer. 
There's the tip for the second quadrant in sustainable beekeeping protein management.